Wings to Fly Community Scholar Selection Boards in Nairobi kicked off soon after the results of the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education exams were released. Thousands of applicants submitted their forms for consideration to join the program through a selection process conducted by CSSBs. The CSSBs are composed of volunteers drawn from community leaders, the clergy, and education officials working with support of equity managers. Through Wings to Fly, we have seen that many of them are getting chances to get education and become very, very useful people in the society, giving back to the society thanks to Equity Wings to Fly. Many of the applicants in Nairobi come from unplanned settlements where their families live in abject poverty. Many face changes arising from sickness of parents and abandonment. We have so many households with children living with disability. We have so many households with children who don't have the two parents. They are living with their guardians. There are so many. One of the impact for Wings to Fly, it has reduced crime rate, though not 100%. Being in the Wings to Fly since inception, I've seen it has changed lives for these children. I can see them, they've got an opportunity even to go abroad, to go to good university, even being given a job by the equity. Applicants shortlisted were invited to attend panel interviews accompanied by their parents or guardians. Sana sana hapa kwetu Kibra, changamoto kubwa zaidi kwanza ni kwamba kuna watoto ambao wanatoka kwa very poor background. Hawa wakikosa hizi scholarships, sisi tukona madawa za kulevya sampuli mbalimbali katika mtaa wetu tuko na makokaine, tuko na bangi na bangi imekuwa ni common wasipokuwa supported na waende katika environment ya kimasomo basi watakuwa ni wenye kuingia mzima mzima katika yale madawa za kulevya after the interviews the CSSBs shortlisted candidates qualified for further review through home verification visits to ascertain the level of need At Umoja Inn in Nairobi's Eastlands, Cindy Mwende lives with her ailing father, her mother, and a sister in a single room. All from disadvantaged backgrounds. And they are great. And they are big. They have overcome untellable mountains to become more they Why we, we needed to apply the scholarship is because my mother and my father we don't have enough money to pay for me the school fees. My, my father needs the medication checkup. It was done a surgery in 2019. I was admitted in Mato store where two surgeries were done and I was discharged and I was to attend uh, clinics thereafter. But since I couldn't afford attending Mata, I transferred to Kenyatta because I did have enough money. My dad's medication is it's expensive, but she tries to work hard so that she can get the man to go and buy the medicine. And for now, he has not been going for checkup. And I have a sister called Vanessa Kamene. She's 12 years old. The struggles are the, and to get food, to pay school fees for my sister and I, the rent, and just basic needs which are here in the house. In primary school, I was just concentrating and then I said I must work hard so that I can remove my parents from these struggles. I want to go in precious blood in Rivuta and I want to become an electric engineer and I want to go in Jaquat University. I wanted to get 380 marks and above and I got 352 marks. I've been working as a paralegal clerk and uh, after my sickness, I was just sacked. What we started to do after I was sacked, we chose to be ferrying fruits from Mukambani, Kitui district, to Nairobi, which we supply to fuels, Fibandas. I appreciate my parents because they have encouraged me to work hard. I don't think about the problems which are here at home. In Kibera's Karanja village, 
Steward Nguzulu engages in odd jobs to provide for his sister and his ailing mother. The aspiring astronaut who scored 368 in the 2022 KCPE has been admitted to Friend School Mbale in Vihiga County. I live together with my mother, Cynthiana, and my sister, Avril. My mother started with headaches, body aches, she could not wake up. As a firstborn, my responsibilities are cooking, cleaning the house, washing the utensils. Sometimes as I finished my KCP examination, I can help my sister on studying his class 6 and class 7 work so that she can make a better tomorrow. The family relies on Joseph Kangede Primary School staff, who for two years supported the family's upkeep, including the mother's medical care. During that KCP period, there was a time the mother passed out. The boy having the mentality that the mama is suffering, he thought everything was over. But uh, fortunately, he called the head teacher, who was, uh, by God's grace, was at school. And they went and took the mama to the hospital. And uh, the mother was checked and uh, uh, she was treated and again uh, told to go back home. Abigail Nasimiyu lives with her mother eight siblings, and two cousins in a one-roomed iron sheet house in Trench, Kangemi. Gertrude Juma, who works as a housekeeper, says none of her children are gainfully employed. And the family has to stretch the 5,000 shillings she makes to cater for food, transport, and a 2,500 shillings monthly rent for a room they all live in. I work in the I work in the wakati wa corona ilipokuja akakata ikawa ni ngeri tano licha sina mume baba yake alikufa if i stay in school after one week the other week i won't be in school because there's no money they they used to chase me away it was very hard because mom did not have money ninapomuonya anasikia hata wakati alikuwa anatembea tembea akawa anaanza na group Nami nikamwambia hii kurubu yenye unatembea nayo sioni ikiwa mzuri. Ebu aachana nayo maana haitakupeleka mahali pazuri. By the way naliachana nayo. Despite the challenging life at home, Abigail who went to Kangemi Primary School scored 378 marks in KCPE, securing a place at Moy Girls Nangili. Struggles at home prompted her to work hard in school in order to get her family out of poverty. Out of the 176 then if we have 18 applicants who are, who are either partially or total orphans. That is an indication of poverty levels or the needs that the, the region has. The Kawangware CSSB makes its way to visit Martin Irongo, who is yet to recover from the pain of losing his mother. The grandmother takes care of Martin and his three siblings, the last of whom is a one and a half year old. With your baba, our toto. Na hii familia, bibi yangu wali hamekufa juzi. Matibabu ya kanza siku wa nathania inakuwa gumu na muna hiyo. Kira siku a, pesa ya hostari inatakikana ya kukula mabo mingi. Sasa nina wana maisha asa vile ime migeuka, ime kufabaya asa. Martin who nursed his ailing mother while in class 8 at Riruta Satellite Primary School scored 372 marks to secure a place at Gidomo Boys High School. When my mom got sick, it was pretty hard for me to cope with it since I was going to school. And having to look after her was also hard. Mentally, uh, I remember from school I had to come and cook for my little si siblings since my mom was also unable. Until my, my grandmother came. My dad does casual works, like washing cars, and sometimes runs a motor, motorcycle. The grief-stricken Martin hopes to get the Wings to Fly scholarship and get one step closer to his dream of becoming a surgeon. Having to, to have performed very well, I have uh, an assurance that I'll be a doctor in the future because of my marks, if I keep on working hard. An appeal to the Wings to Fly that uh, I really need the, the scholarship. Equity agent Yasmin Wakaba, who sits on the Kawangware CSSB, terms Martin as a deserving case and says the boy will benefit from the helping hand extended by the scholarship. Uh, when we came on the ground, we found like uh, Martin is a very bright boy. 
having achieved uh, 372 with the kind of uh, situation that is in their house, we feel that uh, given a chance, Martin can really do very well. The Wings to Fry program started in 2010, so I have been uh, doing it since 2010. The impact has been great, considering the number of students that we have had. Uh, getting those scholars from the informal settlement. We have even uh, had some of them going to global universities and uh, the community has really appreciated the impact. If I don't get this scholarship, I won't be able to go continue further with my studies since my father is, is also unable to cater with us all as a family and given uh, of his current work.